Let's go for the word. My sermon today, I entitled it, Making a Difference. Amen? Sa Tagalog, makabuluhan. In English, significant. In halo-halo, special. Amen? Special. Sabi ko dito, some can live their entire life and never make any difference in a positive way. Do you agree or disagree? Ang ilan ay maaring mabuhay sa kanilang buong buhay at hindi kailanman gumawa ng anumang pagkakaiba sa isang positibong paraan. For example, God can leave some people on this earth for 90 or 100 years and when they die, their life has made very little difference. Illustration ko, if you wonder, That God Metosella live on this earth for 969 years. And the only thing the Bible says about him was how long he lived on this earth and that he died. Nakapagtataka, amen? Siya yung pinakamahaba. He has the oldest age. Na he died and that's the only portion of the Bible that we read about Metosella. Grabe, right? So, ang sabi ko, no one has ever had such an impact upon humans as the Lord Jesus. Amen? Absolutely no one. Walang sino man ang nagkaroon ng ganoong epekto sa mga tao gaya ng Panginoong Jesus. Walang tao. Wala sa sino man. Amen? So, But whether it is in church or school or sports or on the job, there are always those that shine a little brighter than others. Amen? Nakikita nyo yun? In every sports, in every in eskwelahan, you will see that there are people who are excelling and you will see the brightness of themselves that they are making a difference. Amen? But none of us here today want to live a wasted life. Say amen. We would like to make a difference with the one life God has entrusted us with. We realize we do not get a half dozen shots to make a difference. We only get one chance. And we would like to use the one life we have to make Difference for the good. Amen? So here is the problem we all face. The fact is, we could spend our entire life trying to make a difference in our politics, sports, entertainment, music, and etc. And probably not much to make much difference. Amen? So ang tanong ko kapatid, so what do we need to do? We need to find out where we can make a difference o makabuluhan sa buhay natin. Amen? Are you listening, church? Are you listening, church? Iyan ba? Para hindi kayo maantok. So the question again is, how can we make difference? Right here, we can make a difference here in church. Amen? Maari tayo makagawa ng isang makabuluhan o significant o special sa ating simbahan o lokal na sinasambahan, kapatid. The church today needs Christians who can make a Christ different. Say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Our churches are filled with promising Christians who can pass from this life. And when they are dead and buried, It will not affect God's church in the slightest other than the space they take on the chairs on Sunday morning. May mga iilan na pumunta lagi sa church, kapatid, at laging ganun na lang hanggang sa mamatay. Mamimiss nga naman natin ang tao na yon dahil mapapansin natin na wala nang nakaupo sa dating niyang kinakaupuan. Ang ministry na yan ay sitting ministry, kapatid. The reason their life did not make a difference was because the whole time they were on the face of the earth, 
they got sidetracked and got involved in everything but God's work. They done nothing. 99% of the life God gave them was spent doing things that did not make a difference in the kingdom of God. So, one of the greatest needs of the church today is to find men and women that can make a difference. Amen? So, that's it. They do not want to fit in the crowd, but they want to make a difference. And they want to different. Ano yung ibig sabihin? Ibig kong sabihin, ayaw nilang makisama sa karamihan. Gusto nilang mag-iba at gusto nilang iba. We have too many Carbon copy leaders, kapatid. Carbon copy Sunday school teachers. Carbon copy Christian in the fuse today. They make you think our young people today in one way. For example, something can become fashionable and every kid in the school has to wear the same kind of jeans, wear the same kind of tennis shoes, have the same kind of haircut, listen to the same kind of music, drink the same kind of drinks. It's like they don't want to think for themselves, kapatid. Kung ano ang meron, siya na lang yon. Kung ano ang fashion, yon na lang sinusuot. It is much easier just to follow the crowd. Our society is filled with those carbon copies. And they are dime dozen. Dime dozen means so plentiful as to be valueless. Sa dami ng production, kaya bagsak presyo. I mean, murang-mura ang bintahan, kapatid, dahil sa dami nila na copycats. Buti pa ang sibuyas, nagkakaubusan, kaya nagmamahal. In a sarcastic way, ang ibig kong sabihin, kapatid, sa church natin, iilan. Iilan ang may gustong gagawa ng difference. Palaging pinipilit. Palaging pinagsasabihan. Palaging ginuguyod. Hinihila. Palaging sinasabi, please, God is calling you. So what is sad about this situation in church today is that many can see the need to be different. As far as they're concerned, everything is fine. Okay na, Pastor. Okay na po. Pwede na yan. Hindi ba pwedeng the best ba yan, kapatid? We settle for less, kapatid. Ang pagkakalil nila is so far okay na ito, okay na Jude, okay na Pards, okay na daw. A pastor was asked, ganito kapatid, how are, you get, how are you getting along? He said, we are living in idolatry. Just sitting around admiring our new church. We act or we act like we have arrived. We have made it. No more worlds to conquer. What ought to be a milestone has to become a millstone. We have run out of goals. Sa Tagalog, isang pastor na nagtanong, Kumusta kayo? Sabi niya, nabubuhay na kami sa idolatry. Nakaupo lang sa paligid habang hinahangaan ang aming pinakamaganda at bagong simbahan. Nararamdaman namin na nakarating na kami sa aming mitiin. Ayos na! Wala nang mga ibang gagawin. Ang dapat maging isang milestone ay naging milestone. Naubusan na kami ng mga layunin. Oh my goodness, kapatid. Sabi dito, nowadays we have all these idol worshippers that know how to worship a building, to worship a crowd, to worship entertainment, to worship programs. This is what I'm looking for. Kung saan ang marami, nandun kayo. Kung saan ang magandang church, nandun kayo. Kung saan magagandang kumakanta ang mga fall band na yan, nandun kayo. Idolatry yan, kapatid. Hindi yan papuri sa Panginoon. Parang sinabi kong copycats lang kayo. Tayo ba'y copycats, kapatid? Be honest. Kung saan, ay wala. Ayoko na doon, kukunti lang sila. Let's get point to the point later for that. So sabi dito, God is trying to find some men and women of God today who want to make a difference. God is trying to find some men and women of God today who want to make 
or we have a churches all over this nation that are doing everything to know to do move with the world. Ulitin ko kapatid. We have churches all over this nation that are doing everything they know to do to move with the world. But God is trying to find men and women who will move the world. Nagets you kapatid? So the question again is how can we make a difference in this church? God's words show us how. Amen. So in this sermon, I want to show you three ways how can we make a difference. So number one or A is a difference in our attendance, kapatid. In Hebrews 10.25, NIV says, Not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day is approaching. Kapatid, sabi dito sa kanyang salita, the Bible commands us as Christian to be faithful to the house of God. Hindi ko sinabi yan, sinabi ni Lord. Mahal ba natin si Lord? Sinabi ba niya tayo ay magkikita faithfully to the house of God? Amen. Oh, Pinituran ni Lord yan. Amen. With copy. Amen. So, it is said that when you miss a service, you are casting a vote to close the doors of the church. All over this nation, there are churches that are literally shutting down their Sunday service and midweek services. Here in Canada or other parts in the world are becoming like other nations that are getting farther and farther from God. Amen? Kapatid, yun ang dahilan talaga kung bakit hindi ang mga church ay nagko-close. Dahil nawawala ang iyong presensya, kapatid. Malaking bagay na nandito ka sa oras na ngayon para marinig mo ang salita ng Panginoon. Amen? What I'm talking about is every time, every time that you are not in the church, meaning to say you are casting a vote to close the doors of heaven of worship, kapatid. Amen? But let us see in a good point of view. You know, For example, speaking of other nations, I guess everyone has heard about Charles Spurgeon and how God used him in a metropolitan Baptist tabernacle in such a mighty way. He was literally reaching crowds up to 5,000 and had to ask the Christians to stay home for the evening service to make room for the sinners. Kapatid! Yun ang pinagpipray ko lagi na sana naman makausap natin ang mga kapwa natin believer na kapatid, wag ka na mag-church kasi punong-puno. Pagbibigyan naman natin yung mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa Panginoon. Amen? Everything has on their ways na, okay, okay, uh, meron na, uh, we have a visitor, come on, stand up, stand up, let's get them a chair. Did you see this in our church, kapatid? Or palagi merong bakante? Amen? Sabi dito, Canadian is following the path on other nations of turning from God. Today, as people get more and more involved in the things of the world, they are telling God, their Creator, we have no or no longer time or have time for you, Lord. Dito sa sinabi ko sa kanyang salita, it is not because of devil's crowd that church are shutting down. It is because of God's crowd that refuses to make a difference and faithfully attend the house of God. Amen? Masakit niya. Paypayso. I just realized too that I, I realized that kung wala ako, hahanapin ako. They will ask about, about me. Where na si Sir Nins? Listen to this. They put job Family, recreation, and everything that you can imagine ahead of the one they call Lord. He might be their Savior, might be, I said, but He certainly is not their Lord. Amen. But listen, 
it is important that you attend church, but it is important how you attend. Amen. Oh, pupunta ako dahil nagalit si Sir Names nung last Sunday. Pupunta ako, I will come back on Sunday. I will be early because Sir Names has uh, announced my name. Announced my name in uh, uh, stream. No, kapatid. I will come early. I will come every Sunday because I want to worship the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Sir Names, because you reminded me. Thank you, Sir Nins, because God is telling me, or telling him, uh, telling me to you that you, I come. No. I cannot rebuke you or joke joke with you. But God is telling you seriously to come faithfully. Amen? Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 122, verse 1, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen? Kapag pinag-uusapan natin ang church, masayang masaya tayo. Amen? Let's go and come to the house of the Lord. Excited tayo, kapatid. Amen. So, sabi dito, some Christians come into the house of God fasting or complaining or making a big deal about it o parang makikipaglibing or going into funeral o parang pagod na pagod nandyan na sa gito. Susu. O di nakikita ang excitement to fellowship and celebrate with other believers. Pupunta lang sila kapag spare time nila. Agoy. Nagkataon daw na off nila sa trabaho o napagbigyan ng kanilang boss na mag-off. Or feel nila na makadalaw dahil may pagdiriwang. Lichon. Kapatid, it's the Lord's day. It's Party. Amen? Don't come with the lechon. Come with the celebration and with the grace of the Lord for that Sunday. Amen, kapatid? Amen. Hallelujah. O di kaya ito? O di kaya may malaking problema na pinagdadaanan? Ay, apo, pakawan ng patawarin. Kaya maraming gossip, kapatid. Uy, bakit nandyan siya? Why is it here right now? I didn't see him for a very, very long, long time. Yan na. Gossip na. It's true, kapatid. If you're not here all the time, and then you started to come, and then your eyes is a little bit crying, and all the time you're so very, very sad, and later on you will share it right away to the neighbor beside you and say, I have a problem. No, oh, kapatid, I have a problem. Vampira. Kapatid, meron ka vampira. <laughs> they come into the church because they feel sick. But they are very, very strong in working or maybe they don't know how to come to the church when they are healthy. If Hagopit is coming, storm is coming, they, they know how to ask the Lord. They know how to, Lord, 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 save me. If they're very, very strong, Lord, 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 don't save me. You see, kapatid, it's an open mind. It's true. It's not expectation. It's reality. You see, like a cell phone, Mabibigla ka kapag nakita mo siya. The expectation is beautiful, but the reality is so bad. The filter. Please, don't use filter. Use the natural way. The reality. Because we don't want to be shock. Uh, Masyak kak. O di kaya ay may malaking problema o pinagdadaanan. Ay, Apo, pakawanin, patawarin, kapatid. Please, I'm asking you that don't do that, kapatid. Come as you have the strength. Come as, as God is blessing you. Balance your life to come 
Come as you are with the Lord. Mapahirap man, mapaganda, mapagwapo, mapabeautiful, mapa puso mo. Come into the house of the Lord. Amen. Don't be a jeepney na merong spare tire doon sa katabi niya. Don't use the word the Lord for a spare time, kapatid. Be faithful to God. Test the Lord. Lord, kung gusto mo ako, sinasabi ko lagi ito. Maybe 345 times na sinasabi ko na ito na test the Lord. It, it, it test nyo si Lord. If Lord, I want to go to the church for Sunday, give me a job that no one will. Say to me, I will work on Sunday. Amen? Nagtimok man ni Abod, yung sabi niya, sabihin mo sa boss mo. Nagsabi naman, sabi niya, yes, sabihin mo na sa boss mo. Hmm? Ikaw ba yun, Lord? Mm-hmm. Ikaw ba yun, Lord? Sayang. Overtime pa naman yun. Anyway, I just want to encourage you that God, the Holy Spirit, cannot move in a church service when people come into the house of God fussing and complaining. Amen. God is trying to find people who can make a difference. And you can make a difference if you will faithfully attend the church services. Amen? That's a make a difference. Amen? So number two, difference in our tithes or giving. Makauma <laughs> data, pastor. Palagi na lang yan, pastor. But basahin natin ulit para masawa kayo. Malakay 3 verse 10. Sabi niya, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will be not be room enough to store it. Amen. God commands us to make a difference. By bringing into the storehouse of God the tithes that belong to Him. But notice before Malachi give us the command to tithe in verse 10. Amen. And he asks a question in verse 10. Should people cheat God? Will a man rob God? Hmm. Then the answer, he answered the questions. But you ask, what do you mean? When did we ever cheat you? God answers, you have cheated me on the tithes and offerings due to me. What a tremendous difference we could make if all of God's people were to tithe as the Bible teaches us. Amen? If you tithe, think of this way. Think of sh- and show gratitude for all that God has given us and return to Him of what we have received. Amen? If you start to give, think of all the missionaries we could help around the world or in the Philippines with the gospel. Amen? Napadala natin na mission sa kanila. It's malaki, $500. Kung isang tao lang pupuntahan, if one person will go for the $500, but they will chop, 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 chop that. It, it will come a cement and then it went to the floor, nagbaling ka darat. It will come as a cement. But if they will drop it into the floor, it will become a sun. Na bingay-bingay. The 500 will be divided into 16. Or $500, it will divide to this amount. $1,000, ay 1,000 pesos. Anya magatang natin 1,000? Ay sus, hindi ah. If you will think it, the pastor, if they doesn't have any Lord, Makapagmura pa mga yan. 1,000. Ang hirap namin maging maging pastor. Think of it this way. Put your shoes on their shoes that you will see how gratitude our way, uh, how our fortunate we are in here abroad. Amen? If you're giving your tithes into the house of the Lord, think of all the stuff of this church that's God's to be supported in God's ministry. Mahirap kaya mag-isip? Tapos, Kot-kot ka ng pera sa church, wala daw. How can we do that, kapatid? How can you do it that you provide the mind and then also you provide the financial? Hindi ba pwedeng balance, kapatid? 
If you're sitting ministry there, maybe uh, it's time for you to give your tithes and offering so that the people who are working with you will have this money to use to, um, to spread the word of God. At least, kapag titinan ni Lord, oh, may sitting ministry, oh, tithers, tithers, us. If, oh, sitting ministry, oh, no tithes. Oh, so, so, okay, okay, okay. Uh, basura, basura. It's reality. What can you do for the Lord? How can you make a difference? If everything is different, Different that, oh my goodness, tithing, bagsak. Present, bagsak. Uh, what? Involvement, bagsak. Kahit man lang sa something bagay that the church, we are the leaders of heaven of worship, are trying our best to give the best that we can offer you just to choose it. It's an A, B, C, D, E, F, G na multiple choice, kapatid. Mamimili ka nala ang ay ay. In ayaw mo pa, o tama, sino nagsalita na yan? Gibigyan ng five dollars. Amen? If you tithe, think of the building temples and meeting house that we are fellowshipping. Kapatid, why are we moving but we cannot move? Dahil wala tayong pera. That's it. Meron tayong pera, but it's futuristic. Hindi natin kaya. Because We cannot do it, honestly. In our own eyes, we cannot do it. But in by faith, I don't know your faith. Are you tithing? It's easily that we can buy a house. 500,000, 1 million. mag ka lang. But more than 95 members of the church, they cannot buy a single house. Palagi kong sinasabi, magaganda, we have a beautiful home, but our church is too lousy. Is it balanced, kapatid? Our church or our house is very clean and our church is very dirty. Our house is very orderly, but our appliances is uh, not orderly. If we drink some water here in the, char- in the house, we put it back in the basuraan. But if we drink water bottle here, we will come back next week. Is there? You see, kapatid, how do you make a difference? Maybe this is my last time to preach, kapatid. Yes. I'm so glad to die that I am giving you this accountability with each other. How God will provide the church that we want, but ourselves, we are not making any difference. Amen? We long for a beautiful church, but I never see you in the church. <laughs> we long to have a beautiful sound system, but nobody wants to go there. Since the beginning, I came here in Canada, nandun ako. Kung hindi nandun, nandito ako. Gusto ko naman nandyan. <laughs> We longing. It's all right, kapatid. If we don't make a difference and we stay along like this, what life is it if you want to be like that? No, we came here in Canada for general pressure, kapatid, right? The mindset is not changing when we come to, to the church. We more more likely to change our ways if we come to the church. The brighter idea that we have in the secular is more brighter here. Amen. Mas maganda ba ang ating iniisip? Mas malawanag pa, mas malaki dahil si Lord na ang nagpapasabi sa atin, kapatid. Amen? So right now, kapatid, as you tight or faithfully tight, hindi natin maiisip tong building na ito dahil cover na cover. Amen? A faithful tight there, maybe 10 person or 20 person can buy more than this house. Because you alone can buy one million. I cannot explain. Pastor Paul, uh, Brother Paul, can you explain for me the mathematics of that? Amen? You see, sorry kapatid, I'm just giving you a reality, not expectations. Amen? So, there is so much we can do to make a difference if God's people will bring the tithes to the Lord that belong to Him. Amen? Surely every inch of the ministry will be bountifully supported and do amazing works for the Lord. Amen. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen. In the last, 
Para mabilis. A difference in our actions. Like the Bible says that in Psalm 91 verse 1 says, 95 verse 1, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Amen? Who are, who are singing here? Palagi kapag nagpipresent worship tayo, sino ang pumapalakbak at nagkipagkanta? One, two, dadalawa lang? Oh, tatlo, apat, lima, anim. Okay. Be honest, ah? Amen. Totoo yan. But the Bible says, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Amen. Use your mouth, use your voice to sing unto the Lord. Huwag niyong isipin na, oh, out of tune naman ako, Lord, in word. No, it doesn't matter, kapatid. It doesn't matter. Kung hindi ka nabibiyayaan, God not give you a good voice, dalhin mo sa action, kapatid. Amen? If you cannot act, dalhin mo sa voice. God has everything that we need for. Amen? If you cannot sing, uh, then move out. Clap your hands. Amen? If you are uh, limited in uh, front and side, go side to side. Amen? If the hands cannot lift a little bit, just lifting a... Kapatid, if ever it's a little bit as uh, shameful to do that, do like this. Ligon ka konti and then uh, nobody can see me. Amen? But there are other reasons to worship the Lord. Amen? Brother uh, um, Nathan or uh, and the people back there, uh, I just encourage you that give it a shot to the Lord and you will feel good. Amen? Because I done that. The first thing I've done, nahihiya ako. I'm, I'm, I'm shy. But when I done it and feel good that God is, I, oh, I touch it that God giving me this idea that good son, good son, do it more, do it more. And then it become a habit for me. Amen? Hallelujah. So sa kanyang salita, Psalm 98 verse 4, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praises. Amen? God wants His church to make a difference through our actions. We are to exalt Him as Creator, Savior, and Lord. Amen? Sabi dito, bigyan ng pinakamataas na papuri at sambahin siya na tagapagligtas ng iyong buhay, kapatids. Next is exemplify Him in the values of His kingdom to represent Him the core values of His kingdom. And next, to edify His church, to instruct and improve, especially in moral and religious knowledge, aflip, enlighten, inform. Amen. Next, to evangelize His word, meaning spread the good news, the love of God. Amen. Next is to enrich this culture in which we live. Pagyamanin itong kulturang ating ginagalawan. Increase our service and faith to our God. Amen? We probably cannot make a difference in sports, politics, and entertainment, entertainment, but we can make a difference in God's church if we have a heart to do so. Amen? Puso lang, kapatid. Let's use our heart to worship the Lord. Amen? Tama na ang matigas na puso. Let's give it a try to worship the Lord with attitude, kapatid. If we don't even lift up the, the hands uh, uh, a while ago, Sunday, let's lift it up maybe a quarter inch, taas. Amen? Do that. And then little by little, taas konti. Right? And then later on, it feels good. Tataas natin konti. Nothing to worry about. Nothing will be die. Walang masasakta, walang mamamatay. Basta't may reksona, kapatid. Amen? <laughs> oh. The same telling you, kapatid, if there is, meron pagkakaiban, I don't want to lift up my hands because uh, may putoks. Uh, may reksona, kapatid. I don't want to lift up my hands because uh, maybe nakakaya. Nahiya ba si Lord sa iyo, kapatid? Amen? I cannot move because uh, hindi nakakajive. No, try it. Go with the beat. Kahit one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go with the beat. Amen? Let's go with the beat. Kasi sabi niya sa kanyang salita, kapatid, na let's worship the Lord with gladness. Amen? What's the use? Somebody, okay, somebody's telling me that I am 25 years old. Wow, I'm not lying. No, yeah. In, in our, my workplace, they're telling me I'm 25 years old. They're telling me that I am a young person that 
that uh, uh, doesn't know anything because of I am in the, the face that I have. Which is actually it works because all the time if I go with the places of places, if we go for maybe a praise and worship, I'm gladly sing along, uh, jumping jack, mag cha whatsoever, but that I will do it for the glory of God. Amen. You know, you see, I am a big testimony. Oh, I am the product of this uh, environment. Amen. Oh, I am who I am. Here, yeah, I am. Send me. <laughs> Kapatid, ayaw ko mang bola. But the reality is speak. That if we are joyfully serving the Lord, I will not ask your age. That I am comparing your age in your face. But I am looking at you as I am looking to a joyfully Christian. And I will see the difference that God is His priority. Amen? Hallelujah. So, in my conclusion, para matapos na, kapatid, making a difference. Amen? God is looking for men and women who can make a difference in this area of our lives. Are you willing to be one of those He can use? Amen? Nagahanap ang Diyos ng mga lalaki at babae na maaring gumawa ng makabuluhan significant o special task sa mga lugar na ito ng ating buhay. Ang tanong ko kapatid, willing ka ba maging isa sa maaring gamitin niya? Are you willing to be used by the Lord, brother? Are you willing to surrender your life unto God to make a difference right now, kapatid? However, there are people who profess to be saved and you can tell them how much God church needs their faithfulness and it will go in one ear and out to the other. There is nothing anyone can do. They have no feelings or compassions for the work of God and that is why their life does not make any difference. Kapatid, if you have a wonderful plans in your life, that's your life. If you don't have any dreams and plans in your life, halika, samahan na lang kita. Itapon kita doon sa bundok. <laughs> no, what I'm talking about, kapatid, is it's just a terrible life if you will not aim to make a difference in your life, especially serving the Lord. Amen? It's such a wonder privilege, kapatid, to just think of something that you can do for the Lord before leaving earth, kapatid. Amen? So making a difference is difference in our attendance. Come to the church faithfully. If you don't feel like coming, it's time to come. Say a little bit, Sir, boss, I cannot come on Sunday. I need to worship the Lord. I need to worship my God. I need to be with my brother and sister. Matatamimian. They will say yes, yes, yes. Because they don't want to lose a good worker, kapatid. Amen. Next is difference in our tithes and giving. Kapatid, make a difference to be faithful in your tithing. Because you can never out uh, or niloloko si Lord. Everything that you are, are saving but pri not prioritizing in giving about for the Lord, it will happen sometimes na mawawala din yan. But invest in the Lord. Amen? Invest in the good soil, which is where the church you're going. Amen? Next, difference in our actions. Amen? We need to come with attitude in worshiping the Lord. Action means act. If it's sang, singing, sing. If it's worshiping and dancing, dance. If it's acting beyond anything, act. Be involved in the church. Amen? So sabi rito, as I close, I have one life and one chance to make it count for something. My faith demands that I do whatever I can where I am, wherever I can. For as long as I can, with whatever I have, to try to make, to make a difference. This is President Jimmy Carter.
Sa Tagalog, sabi niya, mayroon akong isang buhay at isang pagkakataon upang gawin itong mahalaga para sa isang bagay. Hinihiling ng aking pananampalatayan na gawin ko ang lahat ng aking makakaya na saan man ako, kahit saan ako. Hanggat kaya ko sa anumang mayroon ako, susubukan kong gumawa ng pagbabago. If you receive it with a challenge, say, Amen! Amen! Purihin natin ang Panginoon. Amen! Hallelujah!